Hey folks, I'm Trini Sanderson. You're tuning into the infamous Living Room Network. Divine powers are always working for us because we're doing right. Um, I'm about to tell you how to let go in order to receive your manifestation. And the truth is you have to let go if you want things to manifest fast in your life. That's one thing I came to find out. I, I used to wonder why I'm not getting the things that I want. And that was simply because I didn't never, I wasn't never letting go. Okay, but now I've completely let go and now I'm manifesting everything that I dreamed of. Okay, first and foremost, folks, I'm at, I'm in my room um, at home and so it's raining and thunderstorming outside. So if y'all hear like thunder in the background, hey, it's okay, it's cool, everything gonna be all right. But anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna tell you some real true stuff about how to let go and how to start getting everything that you ever dreamed of in life. Okay, just listen close, folks. I got I got something powerful that I want to tell you. All right. So we live we live in a world today where it's like you grow up. Everybody tells you live your dreams, you know, live the best life ever. And then when you actually grow up and you start doing that, you start living your dream or you start going after your dreams and trying to live the life that you know everybody told you to live. It's like everybody's like, no, don't do that or don't go too far or I don't like you no more if you want to do this. No, I'm not going to support that. You know, and it, it, it's totally, it's, it, it's crazy. It's, it's freaking crazy, man. And so, um, I grew up in the church. I grew up in the church growing up and I was very avid in listening as a young kid. I can remember that. Like, I, it's like, I was looking at myself like another person and I was really tuned in to what the pastor was saying at a young age, because what was being taught to me was like so interesting because it was it was unnormal from the life that I was living. I don't know. I guess I just have like some type of special sense to know like what's real from fate, you know. And so it, it really it really captivated me to hear a man talk about things in the Bible that had to do with like miracles and manifestation and things to me that seemed magical, you know. And I w I can remember scriptures uh, like walk by faith and not by sight. Like, what is, you know what I mean? I didn't know what that meant at the time, but like the more I got older, the more I started to awaken, the more I began to see um, scriptures such as, you know, if God be for you, then who can be against you? You know, or uh, like Jesus changing water to wine in the Bible. I'm like, this stuff was really making me go back home and really like study, like what is going on? <laughs> How are these things manifesting in this book that we call the Bible? And it's like, I'm looking around at everybody else. It's like nobody is performing what they studying or what they was going to church for. You know, I'm like, I'm like hold on now. He changing water to wine. Why I ain't seen him do it or him do it? Or if they say walk by faith and not by sight, why is everybody looking and believing what they see is real versus like going based off of what they really believe in their spirit? You know what I'm saying? So it, it really like, it really made me question a lot of things. It really made me question a lot of things. And um, it, it made me realize things that other people didn't know. You know, I started to, I started to believe in myself, you know, and it, it started to change a little bit. Okay. And so, <laughs> I always, I always looked up to people. I don't know about you. I don't know if you had like people that you looked up to, like role models, people that you wanted to be like, um, your, 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 your favorite actresses, your, your favorite authors, you know, your, your NASCAR drivers, Dale Earnhardt, you know, your, your soap opera actors, or, you know, your hip hop artists, or your favorite dancers, or ice skaters, your Michelle Kwans, your Tiger Woods. You know, I looked up to a lot of people in life. And these people were living the life of their dreams. And I began to ask myself, and you probably you probably um ask the same thing too, you know, but it's like, you know, in, in order to let go and, and manifest everything, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I was looking at people that actually, actually had everything that they could, the world could offer. And I'm just like, yo, how is it that they able to do the thing that they love to do, right? Like their passion and they extremely happy. They making all the money in the world, you know, doing something that they love to do every single day. And it's fun, but you got you got the everybody else working and don't love the work and making less than nothing. 
How is this? How is this possible? People having fun, doing what they love to do. You know, they don't. They it, it appears as though they've just completely let go and completely walked by faith and took something that they knew that they wanted to do, and then it manifested. But then you got people that that do things that they don't love to do, and they don't make as nearly as much as them, and they are less happy as them. And I began to scratch my head like, hold on, man, because I was growing up. I was like, hold on, man, like this shit ain't right. Something is, something is messed up here, man. And it was to me like the truth is in plain sight, yo. Like the, the truth about life and how to let go and to, and to receive your manifestation, everything is in plain sight. It's in plain sight, like right in front of your face. And it made me think back to the scripture, you know, like walk by faith and not by sight. Basically, believe in what your spiritual eyes are showing you in your mind about what you should do based on the situation, like what you see. You know, so it didn't dawn on me. It didn't dawn on me. So I actually started to like manifest things and, and I let go to like I started this YouTube channel, which was like uh, three or four years ago. Right. And I just, I just really tried to do something different. And then I started to see that it was working, you know, and I, and I did it because I started to get feedback from people like you, people like subscribing, like you, uh, love you so much too, by the way, love you so much. Thank you so much for being here and listen to, you know, what I got to say, because it's real stuff. And, um, you know, I went on and on. I was still working. I was still working while I was doing videos, you know, and everything. But it started to get more deeper and deeper and more serious and more important and more important. And then I started getting more subscribers. Then I started to get more feedback and I had to start to think more. I had to start to come up with better topics. I had to start to research more because it was getting real serious. And so it, it didn't dawn on me to like, you know, one day I was at my job and I was thinking in my mind, like, yo, I think I should just really like let go of like what I don't want to be doing and do what I love to do, which is YouTube videos. And so it, it, the feeling like in my spirit, the feeling just kept on riding my back every day. Like, why are you going to work trainers? Why are you going to work trainers? You know, if you step out here and just do this thing and just let go, because this is what you love to do. This is a passion. So if you just step out here on the thing, on the limb and just do it, everything else will be taken care of. You know what I mean? And so it, it just rolled me and rolled me and rolled me and rolled me. And I and I literally manifested myself out my last job because my boss told me I, he had to let me go. And I knew it was going to be a day that come like that because of what I was thinking every day about not wanting to be there. I could tell that there was going to come a point in time where I would have to stop working there. You know, I didn't know how it was going to happen, but it happened. Like, it, it literally happened, right? And I knew it. And then when he told me that I had to go, I wasn't even surprised. It was like, I was kind of like, wow, you know, the universe is really real. Like, whatever is in your heart, it, whatever God, the source or the universe is trying to tell you to do, you got to do it because if not, it's going to happen anyway. And you got to make sure you prepare for it. And so... Here I was, didn't have a job, and so what I did, what I did was, um, what I did was, I started working this other job right after I started working the job that I that I didn't get to work at no more. And when I started working there, I really felt bad. I really felt like I was completely out of alignment from, from what I know I needed to be doing, because it's like I was basically I had operated in fear because I was afraid that my finances would not pan out. I was afraid, you know, people around you telling you, you gotta, you gotta be working. You, you have to do this. If you don't do this, everything is going to crash. You're going to fail. And, and, and I'm just completely out of sync with what my spirit, what my, what my faith was telling me. And so I remember like the, the second week there, you know, I was listening to this podcast uh, because we could listen to our headphones while we was working. And I can't remember exactly what podcast it was, but I was listening to this podcast and this podcast was like talking to me, man, because it was like, it, it wasn't talking to me like a normal podcast that you listen to that be talking. Like this was talking to me. I felt it in my soul. I knew that this was talking to me. And so the guy had gotten to a point in the podcast where he was like, okay, now I'm listening. I'm, I'm working now. I don't even want to be there. I'm working. I'm already thinking about walking out at the time. Now I'm looking around, plotting, 
my escape. I'm like, yo, the boss go that way. I'm going that way out the door. You know, I'm, my friends are still trying to come over and talk to me at the job. I'm like, yo, th this dude don't know. He don't even really know me like that. I only been there for a week. I'm about to walk the hell up out of here because I don't need, I don't even want to be here. And I know what I need to be doing. And so the podcast came to a point where the guy was talking and he was like, OK, now be inspired today. Let everything, you know, just fall off your shoulders today. If anybody says anything, pay no attention. Stay in positive energy. You don't have to be here. You need to be doing what you need to be doing or you know you need to be doing. I mean, this podcast was talking to me like this in this same moment in time and space. It was telling me, you know, it's like the universe was telling me, stop, drop, and roll out. And so it got to a point where it was like, okay, what you're going to do is you're going to drop everything that you're doing right now in this moment. And you're going to step out on a leap of faith. Now, it may feel scary, but I can guarantee you will never regret what you're about to do. Step out on a leap of faith. And then I was like, oh, my God. It's like my heart started beeping fast. Like, oh, this is the universe. The universe is really fucking talking to me. And, and it was like, oh, I'm going to give you the 10 seconds. 10, nine. And so I'm looking around this podcast in my ear. I'm like, hey, I'm like, I know this is for me. I know God is talking to me right now. Seven, six, five. I'm like, yo, I'm about to walk out. Four, three, two, one. And at that moment, my coworker looked up at me and was like, like, I hope you're still working. I'm working too. Hey. I'm like, damn, man, damn. It's at zero seconds. Now he talking about, now don't you feel good? Don't you feel the relief? I didn't feel good. I was like, man, no, I done messed up the universal law, man. I'm like, no, 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 no. So I took the podcast out. I wrapped up my headphones, put them in, the, put them in my pocket. I was ready to go. I was ready to go then. I'm like, yo, I, I ain't missing this chance, this opportunity. Because, see, I have missed some, I have missed some opportunities in the past before like this. See, that's how, the, that's how it come, folks. Chances of opportunity come in waves. It don't come like... Back to back to back to back. When the wave come, folks, you got to catch it. If you don't catch it, I'm sorry, but you're going to miss that surf, okay? And it's going to come around a long time from now, okay? And so I'm like, yo, I ain't missing this this time. So I could like feel I could feel the breakthrough running away from me. Like, it was like, okay, well, oh, wait, I'm gone. I'm the unit. I had you in the divine timing, but you didn't want to listen to the divine timing. I'm gone. So I was like, hell no. I was like, hell no. I was like, I'm about to, I'm about to go out to this. I walked out the door. I darted out the door. Boom, 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 boom. Got to my car. Listen, my boss had went somewhere before all this happened. Got to my car. Look, right when I was coming out the door, my boss was coming in. So it's like the universe was giving that one last chance. Like, are you still scared? You still fear? You just seen your boss go past? You? My boss looking at me like, where the hell is you going? And I got in my car. He had parked his car. And he looking dead at me like, through the window, like, what the hell is he doing? Man, I backed out. I was gone. I was gone. I got down the road. My phone started ringing like hell. I'm like, yo, I ain't, I, I'm, I'm not going back. I ain't going back. I'm not, I'm not going back. I'm going after what my heart is telling me to do, you know? And so <laughs> I went on for like three months. Listen, this is how you let go and receive your manifestation, folks. So I went on for like three months, not working, you know, still, you know, still, you know, had my car or whatever, still staying in my, my apartment. Um, still got bills to pay, all kind of bills to pay, still got to eat, you know, still got to maintain stability and everything and all this good stuff. So I went for, but I went for like three months not having to work or anything, folks. And don't you know, it's like every month I was able to pay my rent. It was like something always mysteriously happened to help me get by. Like, and I started to realize like, yo, there is really a force out here that is helping you do things that you need to do if you walk in on faith. And I'm like, yo, this like, yo, this God is really, really real. You know, walk by faith and not by sight. Let go and then you will receive all your manifestations if you're going after, you know, your heart desire. And so because for so long, I didn't believe it. You know, I was I was brought up around you know, friends and stuff that always told me that I have to go based off of like what everybody else is doing. And so it 
it, it got a little tight for me. It got a little tight for me. And, you know, that's when that's when I started to look, go back into fear mode again, like that, you know, that reptilian mind, that that, that worldly mind again, where I'm like, yo, okay, I, I gotta, I gotta, you know, snap out of this, come back to reality. Because my dad started to call me, was like, boy, you know, boy, boy, you know you ain't go, boy, what you thinking, boy, what you, you must be crazy in your mind, boy, you wanna come up here and get a job with me, boy, come on now, boy, what you doing, boy, you know you ain't doing nothing, you, you, man, you messing up. And I'm just like, oh. Here we go again. I'm like, here we go again. Like, I'm, I'm not, I don't, I don't want to do that, you know? And so I, I went to Walmart. I went to Walmart. Some of y'all can remember that video, but anyway, I went to Walmart that day. Listen, this is how fast fear ready to take you back in. Soon as I walked into Walmart, cause I was, I had already applied for the job online, man. I went up to the man. I seen the manager as soon as I walked in there and I just was like, dang, I was like, God dang, it's like, working quick i can get a job quick so she was like well hold on let me go get my hiring manager to come and talk to you hiring manager came in i talked to the hiring manager for like 30 seconds she was like come to my office i got a job for you and i'm like i'm like i ain't even got on interview material or nothing or nothing and she was already like she already went to the computers like typing stuff in like so security, you know, this and that. I'm like, okay. I'm like, I'm the whole time I'm sitting in the office. I'm just like, yo, I don't even, like, why am I doing this, man? And so I left out of there. I left out of there, you know, uh, you know, took the drug test, got the job. But it's like when they started calling me, it's like my spirit was telling me, don't go there. Don't do it. You already out here now. Don't do it. Don't do it. And so I, I didn't do it. And that was like a month ago. That was like that was like a month ago, man. And here I am once again, still able to do all the things that I want to do, still able to make videos every single day, still able to eat, still stay here in my apartment. You know, I still can go wherever I want to go, anytime I want to go, do what I want to do. Why? Because I let go. I let I let go of all the fears, you know? And everything that I ever wanted just started to manifest. See, that's when manifest, that's when real manifestation happens. See, manifestation can only happen when you walk in by faith and not by sight. That's why in order to attract anything into your life, it ain't about what you see. Attract, law of attraction is all about bringing things into existence that once never existed. So in order to manifest anything, you basically have to let go of whatever you're is holding you down and you have to like think totally different like about thing you have to think that bring you have to think to bring things into manifestation you know what i mean and so i, I realized this truth man and this is it for me you know and, and and this is it for you maybe you are inspired by this story but i hope you are because it's really real right now for me Y'all see me on here every day making videos, uploading them, and, and, and doing, you know, all the things that I want to do. And so, I just started to know the truth, which is always, it's in plain sight. Most people's doubt is greater than their faith. And that's why they don't get what they want. You only get what you want when your faith becomes greater than all your fears and your doubts. So many people, so many people are dominated by fear that if they stop doing something, everything else is going to go to waste. Everything else is going to fail. They're not going to be able to pay the bills. They're not going to be able to survive, you know, like Game of Thrones or something like, you know, people treat life like, oh man, I got to do what everybody else taught me to do. I got to do what everybody else is doing. Otherwise, I'm going to be unsuccessful. But all the successful people are doing what they want to do. All the successful people get to do what they want to do, man. And they not dominated by fear. Don't you notice? Know and they happy as shit. And you have people that are doing things that they don't want to do. And they are miserable. They are miserable, but they don't know why they're miserable. It's because they are dominated by fear. You know what I mean? And... um. It, that's that that's really that's really how you let go and you receive all your manifestations that's how you that's how you start to attract the life that you wanted to live you gotta let you gotta let go of the life that you think is 
with what everybody told you to do and you got to start really just going after the thing that you, you know in your spirit, in your heart that you should do. But a lot of people, I guess a lot of people don't believe in this powerful force that exists in the universe that's always helping us at all times. And it will help you even if you decided to let go as well. And you will recognize that this power, it exists without the without doing the things that you don't want to do. It still exists. And the truth is the truth is in plain sight. <laughs> a lot of people say, you know, a lot of people say, oh man. Oh man, people that's living their dreams, people that's getting to do all the things that they want to do, man. Oh man, you know, man, they are the Illuminati, man. They, yeah, man, they secret societies. Yeah, man, they ain't the Illuminati, man. Ain't, ain't no such thing as no Illuminati. Ain't no such thing as no Illuminati, man. That's conspiracy theory. That's a conspiracy theory. Somebody created it. It spread it like a wildfire. It was believable to be true. And everybody started to jump on the bandwagon because it just sound good. Okay, really, truth is, they are illuminated, like me and you. They are illuminated internally, spiritually, you know, full of light to live their life the way that they want to live it versus living their life in fear and letting their doubts be more greater than their faith. It's as simple as that. So this is how you let things go, folks, in order to receive your manifestation. All right. If you believe, put it like this. If you believe the universe is real, type below, leave a comment and say, I believe the universe is real. Okay. If you believe the universe is real, type below folks and say, I believe the universe is real. And I can guarantee you'll start to see the universe help you out more to get you to where you want to go today. If you believe God is real, get this video a thumbs up. If you believe God is real, say, I agree, Trinis, God is real. Okay. Come on, y'all. You got to be a believer. You got to believe in order to receive. Okay, so anyway, thank you so much for tuning in, folks. I'm Trinus Henderson. This is how you let go in order to receive your manifestations. All right? Got to believe. Make sure you subscribe up here by clicking my face icon. That's me up there. Make sure you subscribe up there. Yeah, that's me. And make sure you hit the bell notification, too. So that you'll be updated with new videos every single day. If you have not hit the bell notifications and you don't get notifications of my videos, make sure you go to the little, the little subscribe button that's on my channel. Make sure you hit that little bell, okay? That way it'll be on your phone, like when I'm uploading, so that way you'll know. Check out this next video right here on how I manifested $10,000. Peace.